1204, Alexius IV is overthrown and murdered. And the Latin Crusaders respond with an all-out attack on the city. The uh, looting, the rape, the murder, the mindless destruction and desecration of holy places, the burning of over half the city, the countless lives lost in this, uh, this mayhem, were something unparalleled in the history of the city itself. In the minds of the Orthodox and the locals, the Crusaders were worse than the pagans, for they also desecrated sacred places. They smashed icons, overturned altars, uh, raped nuns, and so forth. And there was um, doubt so that these people were even Christians with this type of behavior. And it soured, would become the principal souring note between East and West, uh, stretching for hundreds of years, even up until our present day. Um, there are many in the uh, Orthodox who look back at that um, catastrophic event, even though these, all of these members of the Fourth Crusade who went to Constantinople had already been excommunicated and threatened and warned not to do such things. It is seen as an act by the, the Latin Christians and um, a, a great violation, a great violation of uh, the duty of charity uh, towards our Christian brothers. And so that, um, that is often, um, that is one of the principal um, underlying reasons for the division between East and West. If this were not enough in this uh, period between 1179 and 1215, uh, Pope Innocent III also came into blows with the King of England, King John, um, over the uh, rightful succession of the Archbishop of Canterbury. King John wanted to have his own man named and um, placed at, at the, as the, uh, the head of the church in England. And the cathedral chapter of Canterbury had elected someone else. Um, King John did not agree. He tried to force his candidate on the chapter, and they were about to agree, willing to agree when Pope Innocent III stepped in and said, uh, no, you will accept a man by the name of Stephen Langton as the new Archbishop of Canterbury. And Stephen Langton, on his own right, a very important man in the history of uh, the world. He is responsible for dividing the Bible into chapters and for pinning the Magna Carta. Um, he is, was named the Archbishop of Canterbury in 1207, August 1207, although King John of England refused to accept him. Uh, in response, Pope Innocent III put the entire country of England under interdict. Interdict is a penalty um, which forbids the celebration of the sacraments uh, within a given region, or, or um, within a given region. So in 1207 then, um, it, actually this, the uh, decree of interdict came out in March 1208, all the churches were closed, and all the sacraments except baptism and anointing of the sick were, to, and for those in danger of death, were um, to be Withheld, so no marriages allowed, no sacrament of marriage allowed to be celebrated, no confessions were allowed to be heard, um, the holy sacrifice of the mass was not allowed to be offered illicitly during this time, and King John responds by seizing the property of all clerics who um, obey the edict. Uh, this merits not just an interdict for the country, but an excommunication on his part in 1209. And the local um, nobles and lords begin to um, fester and seek to rebel against him. And so in, uh, in the year 1212, a plot to undermine him arise, and he agrees to be reconciled with, um, with the church. And it is with all of these things in mind that the Fourth Lateran Council is called in uh, the year 1215. Actually, it was um, in, on April 19th, 1213, Pope Innocent III um, sends out a summons to all the bishops and abbots of the church, as well as all the priors, 
numerous chapters of churches and of religious orders and the kings and civil authorities throughout Europe. And they were all invited, although no Greeks um, came to the council itself. The council would open on 11, November 11, 1215 with Pope Innocent IV um, opening the council itself, and he himself in that opening address states the purpose of the council. To eradicate vices and to plant virtues, to correct faults and to reform morals, to remove heresies and to strengthen faith, to settle discords and to establish peace, to get rid of oppression and to foster liberty, to induce princes and Christian people to come to the aid and the succor of the Holy Land. Next time we will um, look at the decrees and the can canons, or constitutions they're called in this case, with the Fourth Lateran Council, that were passed, the effects that they would, um, what issues in the medieval church they would seek to address on a concrete uh, level, and uh, then going forward to the First Council of Lyon.